Okay guys, so I'm going to do a sample paper for you. I'm going to show you the kind of the processes that go involved. I, I picked real estate because it's not education, but it's something I know a little bit about, something also really bothers me. Right, so we, let's start off, right? So what I want to do is, um, you know, I kind of joked with some of the classes earlier saying that if you have trouble picking a topic, find something that uh, the government has said that, you know, makes you angry and you want to respond. Uh, so that's one way of doing it. So I want to do um, something about land prices, right? Um, about the market itself. Uh, the market, I want to say it's distorted. Let me fix the typo. I think it's distorted. How is it distorted? I think developers control too much. You know, I have some, um, some data points that I see around me. In my neighborhood, there are many empty units. I'm also observing uh, that there is a lot of public housing in the uh, the Hong Kong market, right? So public housing is playing some kind of role. I don't know exactly what that is, right? So that's that's that that's some starts. Um, you know, we can also just kind of make a point here that it's uh, ooh, okay. My torrent's done. Amongst the highest in the world. Uh, there's a data point I just saw that um, to buy a house in Hong Kong was 17 years of medium income. New York City was about 10. Uh, same with Sydney, right? So here's a few data points. Just kind of putting that out there. Uh, but but this in itself, it's not it's not anything, right? We we, we need to have a paper about something. So. Um, what I'm going to do is we need to figure out what exactly is our question, right? What are we going to build this paper around? So let's pop into Google real quick. Google News, and I'm going to look for Hong Kong. Let me shut some things down to make everything faster. Sorry. What else is open? I don't need word open. Don't need my torrents open. Okay. Also, don't need mentally open. Sorry about that. Just speeding things up. So, uh, Hong Kong real estate market government. All right. So let's just see if we can get some random quotes. Um, is Landlack. Here's a Forbes story. Let's check that one out. But what I'm doing right now is I want to say, I want to, I want to see what is the government itself said, right? Get through that. That's weird. Something about Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is a man and I am a man. Okay, so I'm scanning this right now, specifically looking for... Let's see what... Oh, I'm looking for a government policy. Well, this is interesting. You know what? I'm going to take that little quote there. That's something I'm going to want to reference later. Moving along. Oh, that's useful. I'm gonna take that. Now I'm saying Forbes here, but it's actually uh, not Forbes. We're gonna have to search somewhere. Ooh, okay. Sorry, closing. So you see what I just did there? I put, I put a Forbes there, but this is government data, but but you don't want to take that data point from the newspaper. You want to take it from the government. So this is according to government data. The difference between academic work and, and journalism is that journalists don't usually quote their sources, right? So, uh, you know, you look around here, you don't see what that government data is. Um, okay, so here we are. The current government, CY Lung. There we go. 
So here we have, this is the government policy. Let's come up here, land prices question. Quotes. So this is Forbes. Now, I, you can maybe just quote Forbes here for this one. Uh, I think it's better to find some actual CY quotes, right? So the current government of CY Long has been active in attempting to tame runaway prices in addition to a, to a few rounds of cooling measures, which included raising transactions, uh, tax and stamp duties. Long has sought to seek land in new territories and country parks for development, citing a shortage of develop, developable land. Okay, so this is like the basis of something. Well, I, I firmly disagree with this. This kind of like pisses me off. So this is CY Long saying that we should be developing our, our uh, parks, you know, to, to make more land. The assumption being that if we create more land, that creates more housing and more housing will make uh, for us and then the property prices will, will drop down. So I'd come over here to what is the question? There's a few things I could do. Let me play around with this one. Like we could do, how could... How about what government policies might create most equitable housing situation in Hong Kong? Okay, so that's a good question. Uh, that could also be the title of the paper, right? Uh, so now let's actually start. All right, so now let's kind of start moving things around. All right, so I'm gonna take this question, right? There we go. The question's gonna go there. Um, I would take something like, like, uh, Sorry about that. So the intro, um, we have to see some of these issues, right? So it's amongst the highest in the world. Um, talk about there's this basic distortions. Um, here's a key fact I saw in The Economist, was that uh, 15 families control 85% of the GDP in Hong Kong. So this, we're not totally finished, right? But that's the question, some background data. So uh, lit review data. Um, I would take government policy. Let's give you part of the intro, right? So kind of getting like this, like background data, um, government policy that, so that's just beginning this. Actually, that would be just kind of background data. Uh, 
I'd probably put this in the distorted part. Sorry, I'm getting lost inside this. Sorry, that's expand. That's expand. Uh, this to me would go here, right? Developers control too much. They have too much power, right? We also talk about uh, functional. I'm going to misspell this. Okay. Some uniqueness is right. So it is means tested at point of sale. Um, otherwise, out of the normal market. But at some point, it starts to get very uh, specific. And, and you have to make your own choice here about like how much is just a background data. So actually some of the stuff, um, maybe you could put this in your normal data, right? That this is actually getting pretty specific, right? So uh, you don't want everything in your, in your introduction, right? But so we, we, you know, maybe just some, hey, it's a really bad situation. It's really expensive. You can find those quotes pretty easily. Some background data. Um, Let's do a quick lit review. So let's hop on to scholar.google.com and I have already cheated because I've read some of this. Uh, I've got one that I have already read on my iPad. I'm looking that up right now. It was actually very interesting. It was by International Real Estate Review, Land Supply Restrictions. Here we go. So here's, here's two interesting points here, okay? So this is gonna be in our paper. Cancel. Uh, I'm gonna get a new folder for our sample. Paper. All right. So I want this to be higher. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to sync Mendeley right now. And I'm going to go into uh, my desk. That's it's too big. View exit full screen. Sorry, my computer is being slow because we're doing the screencasting. So let me go to my desktop real quick, kind of make this easy. New folder, sample paper. I'm gonna put a few things in this folder. Okay, so watch this. Um, I'm gonna put that there. Okay. Now he had. Let's let's open this. What I read in there that I thought was really interesting was this one. Peg and Wheaton find the housing demand in Hong Kong is price inelastic but income elastic. That, that's an interesting point. It's an economic point, right? So elasticity means that if the price changes, demand changes, right? So price inelastic means that people will basically buy the property at any price. It doesn't matter how up it goes, how down it goes. People will keep buying the property, that the demand is almost infinite, except it's income elastic, which means that people's incomes do determine whether or not they can actually buy stuff. And so 
this actually, this is from 1994, but they're showing that this is why the housing market in Hong Kong is actually kind of vulnerable and it bounces back and forth a lot. So I want to find this, Pung and Wheaton 1994, because I'm going to be citing them. Right? Let's do it. There we go, Pung and Wheaton, 1994. Let's copy and paste that. Back to Chrome. Let's save this paper in our sample paper. And now let's get back over here to Mendeley and we're going to add documents. Um, sorry, my MacBook is being slow. Aya. Sorry. Okay, sorry, one more time. I'm going to go back to desktop, sample paper, open. Open. Bam! Now this this is perfect. This is exactly how Mendeley works when it works best. Okay? So let's go to this Pung paper here. It's probably going to be in the conclusions. You know, forget that for a second. Let's go back over here. Uh, this is the first paper I did because I, I, I liked how succinct they were. So let's get back over here. So, let review, data, distorted. Okay, so we have elasticity issues here. So, oh, wait, that's not data. Right, so, all right, where are we getting? Where are we getting? Okay, so let's, let's kind of stop for just a minute, look at where we are. Okay, so. We have a sample paper. What is our question? What government policies might create the most equitable situ uh, housing situation in Hong Kong? Uh, from here, uh, maybe we could kind of play with this. Sorry, go back. Let's try scenarios. Open public parks. Um, what else are they also talking about? Those, those are the two bugs, the big ones. Right? Increase land sp uh, supply. Um, uh, sorry, it's early. I need, I need a cup of coffee. Um, I would say maybe changes and public housing policy. Okay. Um, we could say rent control. We could say um, so. Here's here's a, a few ones I'm just thinking about right there. So we could we could we could run the scenario through it by looking at the data, right? So increase land supply. Um, what? Let's go back to elasticity for a second. So. Gets back to what? What was his name? Uh, Lion Wong. What year was that? 1999. So it's a little bit old, but I wouldn't worry about it. It's actually, I think, it's a very smart paper. Argue that increases. Okay. 
let me stop and explain this. What, what they're actually arguing is that um, because developers have so much control over the market that even if you open up a bunch of new land and you handed it over to those developers, that they would just squat on the land like they do the land anyways, right? So that, that it would effectively accomplish nothing. So the government now has this new plan to build this giant island off of Lantau. And what they're just what they're saying is, yeah, they would just hold on to it and continue manipulating the market. That that's that. So land supply isn't actually the issue, right? Um, you could also, I, I would say, like, what? Ooh, sorry, wasted land, uh, not finished yet. Okay. So let's do for the analysis. I'm going to close this one up. So increasing land supply, Lion Wong, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think you'd also have a good argument that I can find this literature pretty damn quickly about why using our public parks is a bad idea and reclamation is also a bad idea. Um, what, what were my other things? Rent control. Uh, let's go back to our lit review. Uh, Hayek. Um, I, won't get, I won't get too much into this, but Friedrich Hayek is one of the most important political philosophers of a very long time, and uh, one of his first books, if, if it might have been his PhD thesis, was arguing that uh, against rent control, that it's a government intervention that comes in and it's very blind and very it just doesn't do a great job, um, that people wind up living in uh, worse houses uh, that are cheap, but nobody takes care of them, and all the property falls apart. That it's just it's a terrible price. New York City has rent controls. Um, or sometimes used to have rent controls. We don't really have them anymore. Okay, so rent control, probably not a good option. All right. All right, so that, what was our other model? Um, I could look at the data. Um, sorry, the... Uh, there's, I need a cup of coffee, I need to think more clearly, but there was the stamp duty. 